What is up guys, Mike Garrick back with more My Nutrition Body. Today we're gonna learn how to use the voodoo bands, right? These voodoo bands are these rubber, rubber bands, these rubber straps that you're going to put on. Typically you're gonna work on a, mm, hi baby. Typically you're gonna work on a joint, um, but you really, you can put them on anything. So first I want to go through and talk about uh, the purpose of them. And then I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna show you how to do it real quick. So. Number one, we're talking about tissue slide and glide. So let's say, take for example, your elbow. Let's say you, you injure your elbow, you irritate it. Um, when you have any type of damage, uh, tissues get tacked down. And so they don't slide and glide over that area like they're supposed to, right? So the tissues, uh, take the back of your hand, the tissues are still supposed to move around. Nice, that's called sliding and gliding. They're supposed to move over the top of each other. So if you injure something and then it gets tacked down, it can't move. So Picture trying to do a squat in really tight pants. It's not gonna go well, right? Here's another thing you need to understand is that also the nerves that are in that area, if they get tacked down, nerves are supposed to slide and glide. Nerves do not stretch, right? So if, if it's tacked down and it's pulling on those nerves, it's gonna cause pain. Also, inflammation causes pain in that area. So we're talking about improving tissue slide and glide in that area. Also, we're talking about inflammation and circulation, which is phenomenal. So when you put it on, um, you kind of get that, when you first start doing this, you're gonna kind of get that impending doom feeling like, ah, I gotta get this thing off. And you're gonna be putting it on for 20 seconds to a couple of minutes, as long as you can, you can handle it. If you start to go numb, numb or tingly, or you have any issues or your hand starts to, or whatever, your extremity starts to change colors, you know, take it off, don't mess around with that. You know, use common sense with this. Um, but as you go and you put it on and you work through that range of motion, um, you're going, your body's going to get used to that. But what happens is, is, is the bands, when you put the bands on, they compress down and they compress all of, let's say if your elbow is sore, they're going to compress all of that inflammation into your lymph system. So it actually can, can be eliminated out of that area because in the areas of tendons and ligaments, there's not a lot of blood flow. So you need to, uh, get that inflammation out. And then when you take the band off, you're going to have this, this, uh, compensated blood flow into the area which feels phenomenal and is going to bring nice fresh blood into that area so that's the second part also number three realize that this is just a quick fix you really have to understand that if you have an elbow issue you have to work you have to work upstream and downstream meaning the elbow is just a hinge joint so if you're having problems with the elbow most likely it's a movement problem and it usually starts with your wrist uh, and or your shoulder and it's just transferring the load to your to your elbow and so you want to look at your shoulder and, and watch your shoulder mechanics right are your shoulders dumping forward um, when you're doing any type of push or pull um, and how's your wrist flexibility? All these are gonna play a part in how they transfer load up to your elbow. So this is just a quick fix to get you, get your joint feeling better, but you really need to take a look at the movements and the mechanics of the joints upstream and downstream. Maybe your bicep, triceps, you know, wrist flexors and extensors are super tight. You need to work on those as well. Um, so those are the three things. Now let's jump right into actually how you do it. It's really simple. You just get one of these uh, bands. They come in, I, I believe they come in two different strengths. There's usually the ones, this is a lighter one. Um, it's thinner and they actually have one that's thicker that's usually for like your quads and your hips. So, but you can use this for any of them. So uh, I'm gonna use my elbow as an example. So what we're gonna do, it's a little harder to do this yourself, but it's with a little bit of practice and a lot of frustration you're gonna be able to do this on your own. So just overlap it. You're gonna overlap about 50%. Can you see how it's overlapped about 50% of its width? And you're gonna pull quite hard, all right? You want this to be really tight. And you're just gonna work your way up like so. And you can learn how to do this on your own. But once you do this a couple of times, you're gonna feel, you're gonna feel the difference and you're really gonna see how valuable this is. Very, very valuable. Especially, I've used it on my knees so many times because if you have a little bit of a, what I call a knee tweak, um, you do this bad boy and it feeds slack to the joint, man, it makes your knee feel great. But like I said, you need to figure out why your knees hurt in the first place. So once you get that puppy on there, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna work, you're gonna wanna work it through its full range of motion, right? Like so. You can come over here up against the wall and do this, turn away, right? Come up and you're doing this and you can even um, do some smashing. You know, you can take a lacrosse ball, put it on something, right? Smash and floss. But you're gonna try to leave this bad boy on 
for a good 30 seconds up to uh, two minutes or longer if you can handle it. You can even, you can either, you know, even hang from a bar, you can do some push-ups with it on. Um, just what you're doing is you're, you're working through the range of motion. And then when you take it off, you're gonna have these lines and an awesome amount of circulation that's gonna pump back into that area and it just feels amazing. So that's how you do some voodoo bands. Remember, you work specifically on the joint but also work upstream, downstream. Fix your movement patterns. I'm Mike Garrick, helping you think, eat, and move with a purpose.